Judy from Witch Peace Craft. Welcome to today's video. It's the 1st of June and it is time for our first album in our Rock 2022 AU. So before we do June, we'll review May as per usual. So our first one, we were doing Eurovision and it was ABBA and ABBA was really well received and there were lots of great inspired projects so all our dancing queens really got into ABBA and on the 15th of May sticking with that weird Eurovision theme the band was KISS and just as well received by our heavy metal fans um, there's some amazing inspired projects that were pictures were posted um, at the end of the video I will do the a random prize draw for the lucky participants prize um, I had a bit of issues last month trying to get a prize to New Zealand of all places it should have been a lot easier but wow it was really difficult trying to do a gift voucher online with New Zealand um, I thought Canada was bad but New Zealand was virtually impossible Anyway, we sorted it. So I hope Elaine enjoyed her prize and bought some nice yarny things. So yes, stay tuned to the end of the video and wait for the participant prize draw for May. Me, I did, um, for Kiss, I did some grey and red on my zigzag blankets. A row of grey, a couple of red, and more grey. I thought that was a nice touch to the ABBA colours and I only recently finished my square um, yes I am tired thank you for all those people asking me if I'm okay yeah I'm just really busy at work bring on August the 8th when everything will be over and done with and I can actually take a deep breath I've been working some long hours and actually bringing work home which is really unusual anyway my square is I did grey like for silver of kiss and then put a line through the middle my corner to corner square but forgive me I haven't put sewn the ends in yet that might have to be when I'm less tired so what else was there for me not a lot I don't think oh there was something special that has come in um, a fellow podcaster and pattern designer was inspired by our Rock 2022 AU Make Along and has designed an amigurumi pattern. And she was very generous in sending me a copy. It is The Rockstar Bear by Y.O.H Crochet Anita. Isn't that cute? He is so cute. Oh. I am so touched. Thank you so much, Anita, just for being inspired to make the pattern. And I really appreciate the copy. When I am less tired and I can pay more attention to detail, I will be making this pretty quickly. Guys, if you're into amigurumi, I'm going to get buy one or gift one of the patterns to someone at the next draw on the 15th of June. So just leave it in the comments below. Um, somewhere like Ami, A-M-I, in your comment, and I'll do a, um, like a, what do you call it, a focused draw, so someone at random can win a copy of the Rockstar Bear, and especially if you're into Amigurumi and doing the um, Amigurumi Wars, it would be awesome, he is so cute, thank you so much Anita. Guys, make sure you check out her channel and subscribe. She's just reached 500 subscribers and she does have a giveaway going at the moment. All the patterns I talk about, he's available on Ravelry. He's not very expensive. So anything to do with patterns and channels, you'll find the links in the description below and make sure you check them out. So June. In the United States and the Northern Hemisphere, certain countries celebrate Pride Month in June. Now, Pride Month is celebrated in different months all over the world. There is not an International Pride Day. 
And I think that's probably a good thing because it keeps the conversation going all year in different countries. Now, we had our gay Mardi Gras in May, and it's probably our Pride Month is in May. But most people celebrate it in June. So, for Rock 2022 AU, we are going to celebrate Pride Month. And I thought, what better way to do it than with a very talented gay singer, songwriter, exceptionally band and lead singer. Who do you think we will do for the 1st of May? Mm. Of course, it's Freddie Mercury and Queen. Isn't that a great album cover? I love this album. Oops, scratch myself. So the album is, I need glasses, News of the World by Queen. It's just so awesome. Take a good look. I'll talk about Queen and then we'll talk about the album. So, oh, hold your horses. Sorry, they were getting a little noisy out there. I could hear them and I'm not sure you might not be picking them up. Um, Queen are a British rock band formed in London in 1970. Their classic lineup was Freddie Mercury on lead vocals and piano, Brian May on guitar and vocals, Roger Taylor on drums and vocals, and John Deacon on bass. Their earliest work was um, influenced by progressive rock, hard rock, and heavy metal, but the band gradually ventured into more conventional and radio-friendly works by incorporating further styles such as arena rock and pop rock. So we're talking about Queen when Freddie Mercury was the lead singer and still alive. I know Queen still performed today. Uh, I think it's, uh, I should remember his name. Oh, this is really bad of me. The young guy that's the lead singer is absolutely awesome. He's as flamboyant as Freddie, but he doesn't try to be Fred, Freddie. And I think that's why they're still having continued success. His name will come to me. It's just that I am tired and I didn't write it down. Freddie Mercury was born, um, and I'm not going to even try and pronounce his actual name. I think it's Fakar Bulshar, Bulsara, I can't pronounce it. 5th of September, 1946. And he passed away on 24th of November, 1991. He was a British singer-songwriter who achieved worldwide fame as the lead vocalist of the rock band Queen. Regarded as one of the singers in the history of rock music, he was known for his flamboyant stage persona and four octave vocal range, which is absolutely phenomenal. Mercury defied the conventions of rock frontman with his theatrical style and influenced the artistic direction of Queen. Freddie was openly gay and always expressed his sexuality without reserve. Mercury was diagnosed with AIDS in 1987. He continued to record with Queen and posthumously featured on their final live album, Made in Heaven, in 1995. He announced his diagnosis the day before his death from complications from a disease in 1991 at the age of 45. In 1992, a concert in tribute to him was held at Wembley Stadium in benefit of AIDS awareness. His career with Queen was dramatised in the bio biopic in 2018, Bohemian Rhapsody. If you have not seen Bohemian Rhapsody, go and watch it. It is a fantastic movie. And I just think Rami Malek, even though he's not actually singing, he does, he is just a great Freddie Mercury. He's as close as we could get to the real thing, but he's not the real thing. But I give him, oh, he's amazing. And I love that movie. I think in the movie, I get really emotional when they show you the live aid footage of Freddie because that is my favourite moment in time of Freddie and Queen. The Live Aid concert came alive with them on stage. 
the telephones went mad and they raised a phenomenal amount of money and often it's attributed to Queen and how they got the audience going. You really need to see the movie and if you're not into the movie, try and find a YouTube clip of the Queen and Freddie at the Live Aid concert. You won't be disappointed. Um, Freddie's favourite song was Somebody to Love. I don't know. Um, and it was inspired by his favourite singer, Aretha Franklin. So I can't talk too much about Freddie and Queen, especially when I think about Live Aid. I get very emotional because I just think it is an amazing moment in time of a great artist. And it's really sad we don't have him in the music industry today. So in summary, our album cover is to inspire you. Now, I'm not a fan of green, but Madonna is. There's green. This is amazing robot type picture holding this person. Now this color here, it's not red, it's not orange. It's somewhere in between, but it is a great color. And the back cover is very similar. The can of all people falling to ground. So basically the cover can inspire you um, and see what you come up with in your project. You can always look at some pictures of Freddie in his flamboyant fashion and be inspired by that. Who, um, when you, when I think of Freddie, I always think of him in the yellow jacket with the white pants. But maybe that's because Crystal at Bag of Day's fault because she's got a, I think she's got a picture or he's always there somewhere in her videos, and that's how I see him. You could celebrate the Pride movement for the month of June and make a rainbow project. Me, I might make a rainbow tea cosy as well. And let the Pride movement um, inspire you and keep the conversation going that we're all equal, no matter what our sexual orientation is. And what else did I have down? Of course, the lyrics of the song. Um, we are the champions. I still can't listen to it. When I worked at the bowls club, and we had a very successful bowling team, two very successful teams in our group. Every time they came back from winning, the bar staff would put on Queen's We Are The Champions. In seven years, I probably heard that more than any other song in the charts. It was just like, oh, not again. But yes, it is famous. Bohemian Rhapsody really rocks my boat, but Somebody to Love is just beautiful. On this album, we have, and it's hard to read because it's in that orange. Uh, melancholy, My Melancholy Blues, We Will Rock You, Get Down, Make Love, We Are the Champions. <laughs> Who Needs You, It's Late, there's lots of songs. And I will have a music playlist of Queen with Freddie for you to listen to. Um, I'm sort of assuming there's no one out there that hasn't heard of Freddie Mercury and Queen. But if you haven't, let me know in the comments below because I may be just shocked. Um, you might actually shock me. Also, in the comments below, I'd really like to know what your favourite Freddie Mercury and Queen song is or your favourite moment in time, and if you ever got to see them live. Because if you did, you're a very lucky person. So guys, that's it for Rock 2022 AU. Don't forget, um, if you're into Amigurumi and you want to go into the draw for a pattern prize as a gift, it'll be a PDF. Make sure you leave Amy in your comment. And yeah, let's interact and talk about the absolutely amazing Queen and Freddie Mercury. Until next time, stay safe, stay well. And I'm looking for my clicker. I might have to use, I always lose it. Stay well, stay safe, have some fun, listen to Queen and put all your cares behind you. Peace be with you.
Hi, it is time for our participant prize draw in Rock 2022 AU. Good luck, everyone. There you have it, Karen Wright. Karen, I can organize you a $25 gift voucher. Just email me and tell me where you would like me to send you your gift voucher. That is unbelievable. She did some amazing projects over the last few months. And yes, she's not always well, but she always manages to do one. Guys, there was only about 20 names on the wheel this month, about three down, the lowest amount we've ever had. I hope it's just a mid-year slump because everyone is busy and that we see you all back with more of you next month for June. Don't forget, celebrating Pride with Freddie Mercury and Queen. Bye for now.